Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our Good Friday service at Northern Hills United Methodist Church. My name is Abdon Garza, and it is a blessing to see everyone here this evening. Um, I have a, a few sh quick announcements uh, regarding this Sunday. Of course, this Sunday is Easter Sunday, and we have multiple services going on at the church and at the ministry center. At 7 a.m., we will have a sunrise service at the ministry center, and then we will have a, um, services here at the main campus at 8.30, at uh, 9.45 and at 11. The 8.30 service is a traditional worship service. The 9.45 is a contemporary worship service. And then 11 is a blended worship service. And they are all in the worship center. And then at 1 p.m. we will have the uh, traditional, uh, usual La Roca worship service at the ministry center. So with that, um, Good Friday is usually a very um, somber time. And today we will be remembering the, uh, the day, the time, but we'll also be remembering the power and the victory of the cross. And we will be remembering through prayer, through reflection, through scripture, and through hymns. And so with that, I will uh, turn this over to Abel Stewart. As we prepare our hearts for that remembering, let us join together in singing our centering hymn. We ask that you bless this worship service as we gather this evening to remember the events of this day 2,000 years ago, events that forever changed history and changed lives throughout the world. Lord, help us never to forget, to always remember, and to always honor you. We love you, and it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Psalm 22 is a messianic psalm that predicts, if you will, uh, the events of the cross and gives almost a play-by-play -play description of the events that happened on that day. I would encourage you later this evening, maybe before you go to bed, read through Psalm 22. It's, it'll be worth your while. Our call to worship comes from Psalm 22. As you can, I invite us to stand together. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? My God, I cry out by day, but you do not answer. By night, but I find no rest. Yet you are the throne of the Holy One. You are the one Israel praises. All who see me mock me. They hurl insults, shaking their heads. He trusts in the Lord, they say. Let the Lord rescue him. Let him deliver him, since he delights in him. Our opening hymn makes this statement. In that old rugged cross, stained with blood so divine, a wondrous beauty I see. The cross is a horrible thing, yet beautiful 
because of the love and the power that it represents. In that context, let us sing together our opening hymn of praise, The Old Rugged Cross. For this Good Friday, as we reflect on Jesus' sacrifice, we have a time now to take stock of our own hearts in deep honesty before God. Let us enter a time of silent reflection as we consider the state of our soul. In what parts of my life am I trusting my own power, status, or abilities above God? Now reflect on these words of exhortation. May I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. Let us give further consideration to the state of our soul. In what areas 
of my life am I bound by regret, shame, fear, or guilt? Reflect on these words of assurance. He forgave us all our sins, having canceled the charge of our legal indebtedness, which stood against us and condemned us. He has taken it away, nailing it to the cross. Let us reflect one more time on the state of our soul. Where is the world taken away my joy? In what parts of my life am I deeply discouraged? Reflect on these words of encouragement. For the joy set before him, Jesus endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. We're going to have a time of prayer, and as we uh, enter into that time, let's prepare our hearts as we sing, O love divine, what hast thou done? This is to the tune of faith of our fathers. Let us pray. Dear Lord, this evening we, we gather to remember the sacrificial love of our Savior. The sacrificial love that he had for us and he has for us. He offered himself to death so that we might live. We remember the pain he bore and the suffering he endured. We are bought and purchased through the blood of Jesus Christ. We are grateful for the forgiveness that he offers us. We live in wonder and marvel at his endless grace. We pray that we may 
that we may live lives that honor and glorify our precious Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Scripture reading from Colossians 1, 19 through 23. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Once you were alienated from God and were enemies in your, own, in your minds because of your evil behavior. But now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to the present, death to present you holy in his sight, without blemish and free from accusation. If you continue in your faith, established and firm, and do not move from the hope held out in the gospel. This is the gospel that you heard and that has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I want to say a brief word of introduction uh, for our cantata this evening. Good Friday is always a sorrowful occasion, and tonight is certainly no exception. We remember the deep love and sacrifice that Jesus showed to us in all of his actions on the cross. There's also, though, another another level to what we remember. The cross is sorrowful, but there's also a power. There's a hope in the cross. We remember what the cross is, but this evening I also want us to reflect on what the cross does. What, what we just read in our scripture tonight, and I really want to let this sink in just a little bit, but now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death, to present you holy in his sight, without blemish and free from accusation. In the cross, we find God's power to break the power of sin. We find that that bully that is death is conquered, is beat up, is thrown down, and we are shown a glimpse of the final victory. That comes through the resurrection, that comes through the ascension, but it starts with the cross. And in that cross is that crucial moment in which the power of death is broken. So as we sing the cantata tonight, and as you hear the words, yes, remember the sorrow. It, that's part of it. But also remember the power and remember the hope. Because it's very important. This has come to the cross. And remember. Today we gather at the cross to bring symbols of Jesus' passion and suffering. As we bring the garden flowers, the bread and the cup, the betrayer's silver and the soldier's sword, the crown of thorns and the shroud of the tomb, we will follow Christ's journey to the cross. begin this journey with bread and cup, which remind us how you met with your disciples in the upper room. We reflect on all you said in your final hours with your closest friends. Whenever we eat the bread and drink the cup, we remember how you gave your life for us.
Lord, we bring these flowers and remember your distress as you prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. We recall your prayer of anguish. If it be thy will, take this cup from me. Lord, though it would mean tremendous suffering, you submitted to the Father's purpose and prayed, not my will, but thine be done. We remember that it was also there in the garden that Judas betrayed you and led a mob with torches and swords to arrest you. Lord, as we bring the purple robe and crown of thorns, we think of all the suffering you endured. We remember the whip on your back, the fists on your face, and all the taunts and mockery you suffered. 
we are reminded of Isaiah's prophecy. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. He was wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed.
Lord, when we see the nails, we remember how you were crucified on the cross. Even in the midst of your great suffering, you prayed for your tormentors. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Near the end of your life, you even showed mercy to a man who was crucified by your side. We echo his words when he said, Remember me when you come into your kingdom. Lord, we carry your response with us until the end of our days. And when we say goodbye to a loved one, we find comfort when we hear your words, You will be with me in paradise.
At about noon, the sun stopped shining and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. Then the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last. they quietly lowered your lifeless body from the cross and wrapped it in a shroud. Then, as night was falling, they laid your body in the grave and sealed it in the tomb.
Through Christ, we can have hope even in the darkest of times. And, the, and though the night of death may overtake us, a new morning will surely come and the sun will surely rise. Christ humbled himself by becoming obedient even to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. There is more to the cross than sorrow. There is victory. There is hope. There is power over sin and death to break the despair and the darkness of a world that so desperately needs to understand the light. On this Good Friday, remember. Remember all that the cross implies all that it is, that love and that power that are with the cross and with the story of our beloved Savior and all that he did. As we go in a minute, carry that story with you. May it be the story that sustains us into Easter and beyond. Let's sing together our closing hymn. Tis finished, the Messiah dies. This is to the tune of When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. Stand together. Tis
Heavenly Father, help us to remember through this evening and through tomorrow the sacrifice, the love, and the power of the cross, knowing that the sun will rise. Help us to help Proclaim him, the Son, to the world, into hearts that may not know him. Lord, thank you for this evening. I ask for blessings for each and every person here. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you.